is going on everybody it is the misfit bear and welcome back to resident evil 3 we heard nemesis roar in the distance and of course he is still alive but this is a nice part of the city i mean look at look at the water though i'm pretty sure this water would look real nice if it was daytime but you know Resident Evil and you know daytime hours only in certain games do they actually mix speaking of mix I'm gonna mix them herbs right there <laughs> but Carlos is supposed to be on our way uh well there he is he's on fire which, that is a shocker as, as to how fire can even, you know, make him Carlos, react that way. Gone. We've seen him on fire at least two times now. We didn't make it. The train derailed. Derailed? Was anyone hurt? No, everybody's dead. Mihail, everybody. Oh, shit. Nikolai left us to die. Wait, what? Oh, that's when. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. I see him looking like a wicker. Oh my god. Jump! You cannot have my ankle meat. Dang. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. He looks really cool. He looks so damn cool. At least they covered his butt. Oh, we finna get some. Okay. I guess now those freaking mine rounds would come in handy. But let me at least get a feel for your movements. Yep. And he charges and he and he just does a straight a straight charge so when he rears up like that woo, when he rears up like that he does just a big circle run nope I'm gonna put that right there that right I don't think that I don't think that damaged him Woo! put that right there let's switch to explosive round real quick I was trying to roll out of the way but I'm thankful that I was not close enough to be struck like that Come on, buddy. There we go. Woo! Dodge roll! How am I looking on health? I got one more shot before I should reload. And I am very low on ammo, too. I'm just noticing that I have... Shit for ammo. Ah, there we go. Get the knife out. Get the knife out. There we go. Oh, he's right behind me. <laughs> I'm gonna just gather some supplies real quick. <laughs> I know my inventory's full. All right, let's. Uh... Nope. Let's get that round out of the way. How you like? So you don't like being on fire, huh? That that's what that's what your reaction told. Nope. <laughs> Getting better at my dodges. Woo! Get off me, son. Nope. 
I know that was a waste of a bullet, but I tell you what, it was a bullet well wasted. Mine rounds, do I have room for these? Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead, use one of these, so I can pick these up. Ooh! My dodging game is on point right now, baby! Nope! Get lit on fire. Go ahead, come here. <laughs> Love it. Bam. I'm gonna put two next to you. Come on then. I'm right here. Oh boy. He's getting mad at me. Oh, he's getting real mad. Uh, excuse you? Ah! I have to stop him. Damn. There he is. <laughs> yeah. Get the shotty to your dome. Get the shotty to your dome. Oh, there was a little exposed part. Nope. I'll have to pay attention to that. Nope. Mine rounds. Can I aim mine rounds up on the freaking ceiling? I can. Yo, that was cool. Yeah. Load. Let's go ahead and switch out. Right, go ahead. Go ahead and reload. So now that I've gotten to the, the second phase, I can't just use my my mine rounds haphazardly. I need to follow his. I need to check his path. I need to stop it in its tracks. Yeah, because his path did change a bit, so I'm gonna land it right there. Ready the shotty? Oh, you asshole! You're about to take a nasty fall. You asshole! Damn! Oh, see? Now that's messed up. That should have been the moment where I got him. But it will be. Next time. Okay, would you kick flip? You already running on the wall like Spider-Man. Back up. Nope. I am learning how. I was about to say I'm learning how to dodge. But I, I didn't dodge that time. Just gotta take it slow. That's all. Just gotta take it slow. Should I waste my last round? Because he ran across there. Oh, he changed direction. I stuck him! <laughs> I stuck him with it. I cannot believe that I stuck him with it. Ow. It's all right, Joe. We got this. Ooh. My aim was apparently more on point than I thought it was. Nope. Okay, so he's back up here again. So he's back up there again. Got one more mine round. Got him. I'm gonna kill you. Only reason why I swear.
switch to the handgun is so that I can conserve what little shotgun ammo I've got left. I don't have any more mine rounds, sadly. Because I used them all to get to the second phase. Ow. Alright, looking on caution. Pretty looking a little looking a lot looking like I looking like I need. I need some of this. There's some shotgun shells. But my aim. It's too hard to hit while it's moving. Yeah, I'm I'm well aware of this. I just don't I don't have anything else I could use. I'm out of freaking uh I'm out of uh grenade launcher ammo. Unless there is some around, I'll have to search for some. Ow. Got him. I had to do it the hard way. I just had to just go straight straight shoddy when he when he dropped down. I had to engage him. Thankfully, I didn't die. I almost died. I'm very close to dying. Yep, very close. Come on, you're gonna crap out on me now? God damn it. Nope, step over him. Oh, see? They wouldn't have put a cut son seen here for no reason Ooh, good shit ow ow You. Interest. You've done me a big favor. Miss. I'm gonna kill you. Oh, dang. She was foaming at the mouth and everything. Roughly half a day later. Bro, I could have I could have died. And you wouldn't have been there to help me. Answer me. Damn it. Tyrell, do you copy? What's going on? Jill's been infected. I... I'm taking her to the hospital. Maybe Dr. Bard can save her. Alright, I'll meet you there. Hey, see, Tyrell's a homie. He ain't like freaking Nikolai that's like, Oh, you must pull the trigger. You don't know how to pull the trigger. And then you got Tyrell that's like, Alright, bro, I'm on my way. Get you a Tyrell. Okay? Whether your name is Carlos, Jill, Benny Bob, I don't care what your name is. Get you a Tyrell. Cause Tyrell's a real homie. Tyrell's a real homie. September 29th, 9.20 p.m. Spencer Memorial Hospital. I remember going here. Find it, Jill. I'm gonna get you the vaccine. You're gonna be okay. I promise. All right. Playing as our boy again. It's kind of like a back and forth thing, you know. She saves him, he saves her, she saves him, he saves her. Oh, our girl. Oh, so I'd be able to give her something. Can I give her like an herb? No? Or is this the is this where like how I'd give her the vaccine once I find it? Assault rifle ammo. How am I looking on ammo for everything? Oh, okay. Well, I mean it doesn't show me my Okay, there we go. One one ninety six in reserve. <clears throat> I'll have to make sure I don't uh Tyrell, where's Bard now? Expend all of that too fast. Back. Stay frosty. I'm on my way. Copy. I'll go on ahead. See, that's what I was saying. Get you a Tyrell. Oh, look at the little baby. 
more assault rifle ammo. <clears throat> Who's up in here? Who needs to see the dock? Because the dock is in. Why'd the music do that? Uh huh. I don't got time for this! Uh huh. Sit it down. Sit it down. I said, sit it down. Sit it down. Sit. Sit down. Hey. Sit down. Sit down. Stay sitting down. Huh. Get in there. <clears throat> Who needs to see the dock? Who's stumbling? I hear stumbling. You are letting me know about that chest and it's behind a wall? I've never seen that happen. <laughs> I've never seen that indicator of like something is here for you to look at, but see it through a wall. Oh, hey, it's a little freaking, uh, whatever your name is. But I got him anyways. <laughs> I didn't remember what their name Welcome was. Welcome to the office of Dr. Nathaniel Bard. Please state your business clearly into the intercom. Tape A tape player? Is there a cassette tape in here? Examine. No, there is not one in here. But I get the feeling I will find one. Oh, maybe uh, I'd have to find a cassette of a of a voice that could go through the door. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's Dr. exactly Clark, what I have to do. I'm here to rescue you. Open the door. No voice match found. That's voice what match? I thought. What kind of sci-fi bullshit is this? Exactly. Exactly, Carlos. Look at all of Umbrella. All of Umbrella is a mass of sci-fi bullshit. Oh, sit down, big fella. Sit down, big fella. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Hey, I said get out of my face. You can stay out. It will technically end there. Yo, nobody wants you in here. Hey, what the fuck? I didn't even see a body on that damn bed. I didn't even see a body on that damn bed. <laughs> Guess that's what I get for not paying attention. Why are y'all still trying to get up? Hey, get up off me! Sit down, Doc! Damn it, Doc! I don't need a checkup! Oh, I think she killed me. The first time I've died from a zombie in this game. The actual first time. The actual first time. Holy shit. Ooh, I see feety prints. Or are those my footprints? Did they actually make footprints? No, I thought those were mine for a second. But at least I now know somebody's been through here. So I gotta follow the footprints. And if I see footprints, travel in that direction. Cause somebody is hurt. Somebody got messed up. Alright, make sure nobody's on the bed. Can't get through there. 
<laughs> Look at that freaking bomb. <clears throat> Main entrance and lobby. Hey, look at the little teddy bear. Ah, oh, somebody done left you behind, buddy. We're going up. Oh, Jesus. You ain't fooling nobody. Okay, so he might be dead. Uh, yeah. Might be dead. I was wondering what it was at first because I thought it was like some sort of creature, but it just looks like it, it's just something without a head. All right. Yeah, that legitimately scared me when it fell like that. Entering. I hear a toy. Aha, I see you. <clears throat> Even though I've probably missed a buttload of them by this point. Well, if you weren't completely dead, you are now. You are now. <clears throat> Can I hop over this? No? So I'm just going this way. At least I don't have to worry about that dude getting back up at a later time. But if I come back through there and his head is reattached... I'll know that he's meant to get back up, and I'm just going to blow his head off again. Because, you know, that's how we do. Nurse's station. Staff only? I like staff only. Alright, give me that handgun ammo. Ooh, what's this? Nurse's journal, September 27th. Admitted over 20 mystery illness patients. Patients in the isolation wing exhibiting severe limb necrosis. Fever, muttering delirium, and signs of hyper uh, of hyperphagia. Possible infection. Tried every antiseptic. Still no blood work back from the research wing. Ask again. Dr. Young was bitten while treating one of the patients. We've disinfected the wound, but his fever won't go down. Nothing works. Meanwhile, the outpatient wing is complete anarchy. The patients are delirious and growing more violent by the minute. We've called in our off-duty staff. It's all hands on deck now. We have got to contain this chaos. And how ironic that I am uh, playing this game during the coronavirus. All I gotta say is I have I used to do security in hospitals. I did it for three to four years. All I gotta say is a lot of people don't give credit to security and a lot of people don't give credit to medical uh, to medical staff. But I appreciate every single one of y'all, man. Just know that. I appreciate all medical staff. Hospital map. This is the first time I've picked up a map off of the wall. Oh, boy. There's probably fixing to be a crap ton of zombies in here, man. Oh, man. I am predicting it. God. You're dead. So are you. I'm not taking no chances with any of y'all. Give me that assault rifle ammo. I also don't want to miss anything either. You're dead. So are you. Okay, cool. So I can walk through here freely then. Without having to worry about getting my ankles bit off. Hey, oh, I have to come through here as Jill. Because I don't have the, uh, I don't have the thing. Nurse's Journal, September 29th. We tried. I swear to God we did. But there's nothing else to be done. The chaos is completely beyond control. Victims are pouring in now. Dying and spreading the infection faster than we can reach them. So we've given up trying. Those of us who aren't infected have barricaded ourselves in here. We can hear the cries for help outside, the screaming. But none of us will go out there because it would be the end for us. I can't believe we've abandoned our patients. It's the worst sin imaginable for a nurse. I can't stop shaking, but I want to live. I want to live. 
9 p.m., we heard a helicopter flying overhead and immediately started crying and hugging each other, thinking a rescue team was on the way, but the sound grew distant, and all we're left with now is the moaning of the dead and the silent screams in our hearts. We're all about to lose our minds. Dr. Young, Ariana, Miranda, Dakota, I'm sorry I failed you. Something's coming. Help, and it was cut off from there. Yeah, that, uh, when you're in that kind of scenario, man, you get that, that fight or flight, and it's self-preservation at that point. It is human instinct. Memos from administration. ID card rules. ID cards are not to be taken off hospital grounds under any circumstances. As per our security measures, all employees must store their ID cards in their own personal lockers before returning home for the day. Thank you, administration, September 20th. Lost locker room key. The key to the locker room has gone missing. The last person to have it may have dropped it somewhere in the courtyard. Until it is recovered, we will keep a spare key here in the office. Please stop by administration at the end of your shift to borrow it. Locked. Lock it. I found a tactical grip. I can combine that all snap. Oh, now that. That is a sexy looking weapon. Found the key. Oh, but I'm full up on space. Because I have so many herbs. Use this. Steady now. Steady. Okay, this is just the locker room. All right. Nothing in here. Cool. <laughs> I was concerned. I can throw the key away. Yep. Alright, so let's see what's in these lockers. Nothing in there. Digging the Rick Grimes hat. And I got another flash grenade. Whoa! Take that guy! Huh! 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 Okay. It's dead. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Hospital ID card. Spencer Memorial Hospital. Good old John. Oh, God. Oh, is this John? Oh, God. Oh, that was so subtle, but it was so bad. It was so subtle. But man, I was not ready for it. I was not at all ready for it. Okay, so now if I remember right, I have to go back to that one door. That was a... Uh, downstairs oh boy this thing looks bite whoa what what okay um you're not a liquor you're not a liquor oh you're one of you're of the hunter series you're of the Hunter series. I know exactly what you are. You're of the Hunter series. I'm gonna kill you. I have plenty of things to keep me going. I am going to kill you. Oh! I just healed. I just healed. And you managed to one- Yeah, Hunter. And you managed to one-shot me? Got him. 
And I didn't even need the flashbang. I freaking counterpunched him. Hell yeah. I knew I could kill him. I knew I could. That was my third attempt, but I still did it. Yeah, that was one of the, uh, that was a Hunter series, Gamma. Oh, man, those things are brutal. They have, they literally have, like, a one-shot slash that no matter what, no matter where your health is, you're just dead. Wow, and they're really quick, too. Did you see him pulling the Albert Wesker sidestep without the bamf? <laughs> yeah, man, it was, uh, it was nuts. All right, so this allows me to go back. So is this, like, a shortcut that I could take? I just don't remember the trees rustling like that the last time I was around here. So it made me start wondering if there was another Hunter Gamma, like, around and, like, creeping through the bushes. I can't jump this way, so I kind of barred myself going through here. So do I have to go the long way around? Um... I'm a little lost. Oh no, it's right here. Is there any Zombonies in here? Alright, looks like nothing. Alrighty, let's see what we are. Handgun ammo. They're loading me up. I, I see what y'all are doing. I see what y'all are really doing. Whoa! Whoa, y'all are really loading me up. All right, let me use one of these. The flashbangs, they help more than the hand grenades, sadly. And I can't pick up anything else. Let me go ahead and drop this just so I can pick those up. Because I've got three things that can keep me going. So, I'm pretty sure I would be fine. Is there anything else in here other than equipment? Well, look at that. There was a green herb right there. I could have picked up... Well, I needed the space still. So, it's okay. It's okay. I'm not worried. I'm not worried by any means. Here we go. Lost items. To all employees, we've been inundated with reports of lost items. If you find something and it is unclear who it belongs to, do not take it home. Please deposit it in the nurse's station safe. The safe combination is nine clockwise, three counterclockwise. Thank you for your cooperation. Now, the nurse's station, did I see that? Did I walk past the nurse's station? Oh, there we go. I mean, I have a map, don't I? Yeah, have I been to the nurse's station yet? I'm on the first floor. Second floor, records room, nurse's station. So I haven't gotten there yet. So in the staff room, currently searching. Okay, so is that is that where I'm at right now? I didn't look. Is this Is that where I'm at right now? No. I have to go up the steps. Or up the, the stairs. Which the stairs? Yep, they're right here. Alright, so... I didn't notice that there was a safe. I think that room where I saw the, uh... The, the hunter. I think that was the nurse's... The, the nurse's lounge. Uh, no. This is the nurse's room. So I haven't been in here yet. Somebody is really trying to break up in somewhere. Uh-huh. You ain't slick. You ain't slick. I see you. So let's see. It's... Nine... 
because it's inverted. So three? Yes. Yeah, it was. It's inverted on the controller. Dual magazines? For real, though? Oh, snap. What happens if I just walk up to that door? Will they just bust out? Note about a tape recording. I think I know what happened to the missing tape of Dr. B. His research assistant took it. One of my patients saw Abbott remove something from a locker in the nurse's station and walk toward the treatment room. I'll try to sneak in and look during the night shift. You just stay cool and keep doing your job. I don't care how important Dr. B is to the medical community. That kind of harassment is not okay. I promise I won't let them destroy the evidence. He's a pig and an asshole and will get his day in court. Stay brave, stay strong, a fortitude. We talking about in here? I really wish whatever that is would just go ahead and bust through the door. Oh, hey! You heard me! I'm really glad you did, because I was really getting sick. Oh, you dog! You get the fuck off me! Well, that's what I get for running my mouth. I asked for that. I asked for it. <laughs> yeah sit it down can I chop his feet I guess if I chopped his feet he's dead didn't think so didn't think so Tia Dalma was not dead. You're not dead either. Yes, you are. <laughs> uh, what am I? Assault rifle ammo? I'm still good on it. I'm still good on this? Well, no, I had to reload. Now I can pick that up. Okay. <laughs> We're still in control. We are still in control. I just got spooked. Really well, I might add. But it's okay. Now I'm seeing all these herbs and and I'm like, oh, well that sucks. Who tried to stand? Who's getting? What the fuck? Wait a minute. You know what? I swear the zombies in this game piss me off, man. They do. They do. Because they make it seem like you killed them. And in reality, you didn't. There are two of them? There are two other ones? Oh, this is not good. I can see why they gave me the double mag. Because I think I'm going to need it. Sit it down. Sit it down. Give me that ammo. <laughs> At least I'm staying refilled on a uh, assault rifle ammo. Jesus, another one? There are so many of these. Fuck off me! Oh, were the days where all you needed to do was hit a zombie in the head for it to die. Now these zombies, you can lay there together. You can lay there and die together. Now these zombies don't even care anymore. They made it to where, like, you're bound to waste ammo. Because some of these zombies will take, like, five shots... And I'm talking five shots if you actually land all five shots to still die. Assault rifle ammo. Good. I, I have no idea where I'm having to go. This looks familiar. Yeah. 
Okay, so this looped me back around. There's a red herb. Linen room. There's a red herb in here. Completely missed that. Wouldn't have known that was in here if I didn't look at the map. Oh. Oh, I can get rid of the card now. Okay, that's fine. So let me pick up that, uh, let me pick up that red herb. And there was a green herb somewhere. Somewhere else, if I remember right. The fact of the matter is I'm gonna have to go in there. I am going to have to go in there. So that's why I'm kind of doubling back. You... I don't even remember seeing you. Where did you come from? There was supposed to be a... Yeah, green earth in the sick room. So over here. That's right. There it is. Alrighty. So now, we got four things of healing. We have four things of healing. We should be fine. Alright, let me go ahead and... Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to shortcut and get rid of my knife right quick. Ow. Ow. Nope. Alright, hold that. Yes. That's why the grenades were there. <laughs> All's quiet. All right. So, explosives. I mean, that grenade literally was an insta-kill. That grenade was literally an insta-kill. I swear, if you get back up after being mauled like you were, I'm gonna lose my shit. Audio cassette tape. Combine. Alrighty, we got the audio cassette tape. Now we can go and do our interesting sci-fi stuff. All right, we have made it back. All I wanted to know was what the documents were doing in your office in the first place. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm goddamn Nathaniel Bard. I'm the best biologist you'll ever meet, you bedpan changing waste of a nursing degree. Well, get the fuck out of here, you asshole. They work hard for them damn degrees. Only to be pissed on, shit on, and all of that. Jeez. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Bard. Yeah, he's dead. Tyrell. Bard's dead. He's been shot. Shit. And the vaccine? I'm looking. Well, look harder. There's gotta be a computer, right? Yeah, I mean, there's a computer with the umbrella logo just sticking right at me, brother. I got this. But I'm having to do some exploring because there is another being at work here. Fourth wall break. Banquet invitation. Dear Dr. Bard, it is my pleasure to cordially invite you to a banquet on September 10th at the Central Hotel, where we will be exchanging viewpoints on Raccoon City's new special medical zone. Attending will be Mayor Michael Warren, Chief of Police Brian Irons, and other distinguished members of our community, as in people being bought by Umbrella. Tuesday, September 10th, 1998 at 6 p.m. The Orient Restaurant, the Central Hotel, second floor. We would be honored if you joined us. Sincerely, Greg Tester, United States Senator. Handwritten note. Nate, I'll be introducing the bill for that new drug of yours in mid-August. Bring the cash. We've booked a suite for the usual after party. You're a brunette guy, right? I'll let Irons know. Disgusting. Disgusting. 
All right, email from Nathaniel Bard. To Greg Tester, subject, reply immediately. Greg, I know you're watching the news. This virus is going to devour the whole country. The dead will wash over Capitol Hill like a tidal wave. You're not safe. However, you've always been a good friend to me, so I'd like to offer you a way out. I have in my possession one dose of a vaccine for the virus, the Holy Grail, and it's not for my family, not for my ladies on the side. No, Greg. I'm saving it for you. I know better than anyone that you're the future of the United States, but if you want the goods, Greg, you have got to get me the hell out of here now without Umbrella finding out. Lean on the Pentagon for me. I know you've got the clout. See if someone can get a rescue team in here without UBS, without UBCS involvement. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours, which should sound pretty chaste or chaste or however the hell you pronounce that after the parties we've been to. Hurry, my time is running out, Nate. This Damn, so who the hell shot him? Bart, September 29, 11 p.m. I am acutely aware that my time's running out. And I hope and pray by making this recording and bringing the truth to light that I can restore some small shred of honor to my name. Here we go. All of Raccoon City's suffering began with the release of a biological weapon known as the T-Virus. My employer, the Umbrella Corporation, engineered this virus, and they ordered my team to develop a vaccine, which we did. Now, I keep samples of this vaccine here in my office. The rest of it is stored underground. But those sons of bitches at the board, they want to destroy it. They don't want the world to know what they've done. Of course so they're they trying don't. to erase all evidence that the virus ever existed. No, I'm not a fool. I know they don't want me to... Something or someone came after him. She knew all along. And she trusted me anyway. Fuck! My dude has the fist of a stone to be able to do that. That is an old ass monitor. That's not one of these thin monitors we have now. Holy shit. Is it here? Yep, there it is. Vaccine sample. And of course I don't have any room for it. Oh, but I can get rid of this though. Hold on. I can get rid of this. Get, get, get rid. Get rid of, yes, thank you. Get me, yes. All right, Jill. Hang tight. All right, I'm coming, Jill. I'm probably going to have to fight my Pete, way back. I got it. Good. I'm headed your way. Oh, be please. Careful. Don't don't take my boy T. <laughs> Have you seen this town? It'll be a fucking miracle if I get there in one piece. Man, please let my boy T get there in one piece. I do not want to see another brother die. Hi. Um How you doing? You 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 want to hold you, you want to hold that for me? Why unload all up in your face? Nope, you are not getting me with that one hitter quitter. Get away from me. Yeah. Sit it down. Sit it down. Sit it down. I have a delivery to freaking make. And you are not getting in my way. Am I going the right way? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going the right way. So we go out this way. At least... No! Get the fuck off of me! Give me this herb. No! God dang it, old man! I'm not wasting any more time on any of you. 
not a single lick of time. All right, so it's this door, right? Yes. You're gonna be okay, Joe. Yes, you're gonna be okay. I got you. I got you. Good. Come on. This shit better work. Ain't no telling how much time. Whoa, boy, T. T. Tyrell, what the hell happened? Attention, all citizens. The contagion spreading throughout the city has been designated uncontainable. On October 1st, Raccoon City will be completely destroyed in a missile strike. Yep. All residents capable of rational thought are urged to evacuate immediately. Yep. This is not a test. Uh huh. Attention all That's been to happen. Only a day away. There's still people in the city. They don't give a Double shit. Sam gives a shit. Fuck. Here they come. Oh, you sit tight. I got this. Yeah. You've already done enough, brother. Better grab some gear. Sounds like there's a lot of them out there. Hell yeah. That's why this gear is the save point. And I am going to go ahead and I'm going to call this episode right here. The imminent battle of going through the hospital of zombies that were not there but are mysteriously going to be there is going to happen next time. I appreciate all of you for watching. Like and subscribe for more, for I will continue to make these videos for Mini Moons. Stay safe out there, and never forget to holla at your bear. Peace out.